Being fat and outperforming everyone is the ultimate irony in football, and some players have shown us that physique isn't as important as we think. These are the top 10 fat world-class footballers. Ronaldo Nazario remains one of the greatest footballers of all time. According to many, he was the most complete out-and-out -out striker in his prime. But one of the most impressive things about his CV is that the Brazilian Ronaldo managed to mesmerize defenders while being on the bigger side. He was capable of deft touch, quick bursts of pace, and sublime finishing. The three-time FIFA World Player of the Year, two-time Ballon d'Or winner, and two-time World Cup winner had a glittering career, but he became fat towards the end of his career due to health issues and seeing how bad he is now, it is hard to believe that Ronaldo was once the best striker in the world. Despite having debilitating injuries, El Finamino's credentials speak for themselves. 414 goals in 616 games for club and country and several trophies. You can't just help but imagine how much more he would have achieved without the injuries taking their toll on his mercurial talent. Talking about injuries, this next player has also had his fair share of problems. When Hazard joined Real Madrid from Chelsea in a stunning £100 million move, Galacticos fans were surely not expecting an overweight player. The former Belgium captain drew serious criticism after showing up to his first training session with Real Madrid, looking several pounds overweight after joining them in the summer of 2018. Although Azad managed to shed some of the weight, persistent fitness problems and loss of form turned him into a shadow of the player he once was at Chelsea. At the London club, Azad won two Premier League titles, two UEFA Europa Leagues, an FA Cup and the Premier League Player of the Season award for the 2014-15 season. Although he has won more significant trophies at Real Madrid, the 32-year-old isn't at the center of action like he was at Chelsea. But what about this next player. The former English footballer was never one to shy away from the spotlight. Gatsa, as he was fondly called, didn't hide his love for pork pies, kebabs, and beer. Unfortunately, the latter would cause lots of problems that affected his later career and retirement. At the height of his game, Gascoigne was quick, technically gifted, and a prolific playmaker. Having had great success at Newcastle and Tottenham, he moved abroad to Lazio, and although he had mixed results at the club, his 89th-minute equalizer against AS Roma during the Rome Derby will forever endear him to Lazio fans. In Wayne Rooney's words, I'm like most blokes, I put on a few pounds after a holiday. If I don't train for a week, I put on two or three pounds. More recently, the former Manchester United player even admitted that he only has one suit that fits him. Throughout his playing days, Wayne Rooney admitted to struggling to keeping his eating habits in check. He once returned to preseason and trained while being seven pounds overweight. Despite gulping down bevies at any available opportunity, Wayne Rooney will always be remembered for his exploits at Manchester United, winning dozens of trophies and individual awards. He remains the highest goal scorer at Manchester United with 253 goals for the club. It is safe to say that Wayne Rooney made the most of his talent, unlike this next player. The former Inter Milan striker was notorious for his lack of discipline and party lifestyle. The Brazilian forward had an enviable talent, but he was way too inconsistent. His shot was one of the most powerful ever seen, and he also has good technique, aerial ability, pace, and power. Adriano played an important role in Inter Milan's 2006 Scudetto win. The Brazilian had the tools needed to become a world-class player, but many fans continued to bemoan his wasted talent. But even in his prime, Adriano said that he ate a lot of salad and added a significant amount of weight during his career. Following a continued decline in his performance, which coincided with the death of his father, Adriano moved back to his native Brazil in 2009 and played for both Flamengo and Corinthians. While at Corinthians, it was reported that he was once placed under house arrest by his club so that he could lose weight. After hanging up his boots, Adriano went from just fat to unrecognizable, piling up the pounds. 
For the former Southampton man, calling him fat is a little tricky because he has a different body build, somewhat similar to Wayne Rooney's with decent amounts of muscle. Big, powerful, and strong, Luke Shaw continues to remind everyone that he is easily one of the best left backs in the world of his day. However, a few fans have shared their concerns on how they believe that the 27-year-old can get more out of his talent if he can shed a few pounds. Bats or overweight? Semantics aside, what can we make of this next player on our list? How Lukaku manages to carry himself as one of the heaviest footballers in the game is beyond most fans. At 6'3 and over 225 pounds, the 29-year-old has proven that he is one of the best strikers in the world. He uses his intimidating physique to his advantage by bullying defenders in the box. No doubt, his weight might have affected his pace a little bit. Lukaku's speed is still impressive for someone who is over 225 pounds. While at Manchester United, Lukaku came back from the summer break being 9 pounds overweight and he was criticized by Gary Neville for being unprofessional. When he moved to Inter Milan, his debut was also delayed because of the additional weight he had put on in preseason. However, the Belgian revealed that he had battled with digestion problems, which was the cause of his weight gain. Similar to Luke Shaw and Wayne Rooney, you could easily mistake Lukaku for a bodybuilder if you didn't know he was a footballer. But you wouldn't make the same mistake for Gonzalo Higuain. Higuain scored 366 goals in almost 800 appearances for club and country, making him one of the most prolific strikers to play the game. After shining at River Plate, the Argentine moved to Real Madrid where he assumed different attacking roles successfully. He could effectively play as an out-and-out -out striker or drop deep to link with teammates. Despite his goal-scoring efforts, Higuain was often criticized for failing to turn up on the biggest occasions and for having a belly pouch. During the latter part of his career, Higuain was brutally trolled for being fat. After he made his debut for Juventus, many fans shared their concerns for his weight gain, and it was the same story at Chelsea where he was laughed at for wearing an XXL training kit. To his credit, the Argentine often responded by scoring goals while playing in the Serie A. Cassano was a temperamental striker back in the day, and he was notorious for self-indulgence. A talented and technically gifted player, Cassano was often deployed as a supporting striker, and he had much success at Roma, scoring over 50 goals for the club. But after his move to Madrid, his career began to go downhill. Antonio Cassano was only the second ever Italian to play for the Galacticos, but he had an unhealthy lifestyle, and he was fined for each gram that he was overweight during his time at Real Madrid. In his autobiography, Cassano revealed that he had routinely gorged on four or five pastries at night, saying that sex plus food was the perfect night for him. Cassano's career was revived after he moved from Madrid to Sampdoria, but we can only imagine how much more the Italian would have achieved with a little more professionalism. There is no doubt that the late footballer was one of the greatest, but compared to his fellow greats, Maradona seemed to lack discipline. He wasn't big on training and he loved to party. At one point, Maradona weighed 280 pounds. Still, he was able to score 345 goals in 680 appearances for club and country while winning close to a dozen titles and scores of individual awards. After his retirement, he suffered from many off-field health-related issues, which included obesity. The Hand of God magician ballooned in size and saw a persistent decline in his health. The Argentine eventually had a weight reduction surgery in 2005 in an attempt to deal with his health issues. It was reported that Maradona became extremely addicted to potatoes, milkshakes, mayo, and fried foods. Maradona also battled with addictions to cocaine and alcohol. Having battled with several other health issues, he died in 2020 at the age of 60. Maintaining an ideal weight might be difficult for some footballers and athletes, but each of these players reminds us that being overweight often does more harm than good.